Living, Nils Infinity here, back at it again, but this time we're playing a little bit of Scum. So if you haven't picked up Scum yet, you're missing out. I highly suggest you get it. Uh, basically, it's a pretty much an open world survival, crafting, building, PvP, PvE um, type of game with uh, what they call puppets, but are zombies. So depending on what servers you play on, you can get into PvP, RP servers for role playing, so on and so forth. Depends on how in depth in the story you want to get. Um, and uh, if you don't, you can just play single player and play your own. You have free roam in the entire map with everything to your own use, disposal, whatnot. So, but right now, today they released uh, some new DLCs. So uh, now. You can play as a, a very iconic figure. So, uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. So, what I'm going to do is I'll show you right here. So, this is like the main screen you're going to come to when you create a game. So, I'm just doing a solo game right now. Obviously, I already got my name up here, Nels Infinity, uh, right here. You know, you just type it in. We're going to kind of go strength, constitution, dexterity, and intelligence. I usually just leave it kind of like all the way across the board just even uh, you could be male or female but in this choice um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the DLC so for here you can choose the different heads be different guys you know different colors ethnicities whatnot and so forth but number seven is our new person so if you guys haven't ever seen it but Danny you know he's been in a lot of movies uh, freaking awesome dude always known as machete and so on and so forth if you guys ever watch any of the older movies and stuff uh, obviously it always makes a feature in just about any movie you could think of especially when they need some type of uh, kind of like a Hispanic kind of gangy you know like a gang sort of a hard ass basically you know a badass in anything so he's usually plays that role but uh, he also plays some comical parts too in some other films and shows and whatnot so uh, but yeah I've always enjoyed like enjoyed his acting so it's pretty freaking cool to come to a game that I love um, so yeah so you go to number seven that would be him um, obviously concealing on or off doesn't really matter with him you just see him in his little undies speedo but I keep it on for streaming purposes. Uh, you know, you could choose size. This this only changes if you were like somebody else. If you were one of the other characters, you'd see it be bigger or smaller. Um, and then you know, just growth over time. I usually I think it's always set to on, or I just have it on on. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. If you don't really want to get into this, you could always take and randomize if you choose to. But I'm just going to say there's a few things that are harder to obtain skill-wise, so I probably wouldn't randomize necessarily. But, I mean, this randomizes, like, your character here. So, all right, so you go next. So we got all that set up. Go to next. All right, so now you will see uh, when you're first starting to select. I've already kind of picked it, but, like, for example, we'll just do Constitution. So uh, you would end up having six points here. You'll have six in all these categories. Uh, if you have three across the board here, you'd have six across the board here. So uh, what you would do is you come down to like running and you would just drag this to, you know, all the way up to advanced, to medium, down to basic, or no skills, whatever you're going to do. These uh, gray ones here, you can't um, put anything into quite yet. So you just kind of have to go through. So these are all other type of skills that will be eventually unlockable and you can use them. But for now, I just drag this to be basically uh, even. You know, so you just drag it to medium, boom, uses up all my points here. I'm going to put a little bit into brawling just so he at least has the basics to punching, uh, basics to rifles, melee, um, archery. I'm going to give him a little bit more in handguns. Um, melee is a little bit easier to build up XP wise because for the most part you're going to be using a lot of melee till you come across these other weapons. So between that and probably like brawling, those would probably increase pretty quickly XP wise, leveling you up. Um, as for running endurance, obviously, I mean, I have the points, I spend them, but you're always going to be running and be 
beating endurance, so you'll you'll build, you know, you'll increase your uh, skills, like your XP and stuff there. As for intelligence, um, I had a little awareness. I'm not going to focus so much on sniping and camouflage. I'm not really playing PvP. I'm doing solo, so I'll put a little bit into survival, a little bit into medical, so I can heal myself. Um, engineering is going to be one of the hardest, along with awareness for the most part, to level in. So awareness is basically going to contribute when you're being stealthy and you're hiding, like in bushes and things. That's where you'll get a lot of that from. Engineering is pretty much just going to come down to you crafting and building and basically more crafting. So if you want to start off building and being able to craft quite a bit more, I would highly suggest to invest a lot into engineering. Um, to unlock the most craftables. As for dexterity, I put a little bit into thievery. Um, helps you with like lockpicking and such. Uh, driving, just so help, hopefully, you know, if I get a car or a truck or something, it doesn't necessarily stall out as often. Um, and I have better odds of getting it to go, like take off and start up. Uh, motorcycles, obviously, he's, you know, he's like a motorcycle type of dude, so I went ahead and put a little bit more into motorcycle. Uh, stealth, just, I mean, I guess not so much, but I had the point, so just kind of put a little bit into stealth. Maybe might help slightly, but not 100% pause on that. Aviation is the new planes that are involved in here, so I went ahead and put a little bit into aviation so I don't have too hard of a time trying to uh, fly, take off, start up a plane. So with all these being zeroed out here, they're all good to go. Go ahead and hit create. And it's always going to generate a card here. Gives you a list of all your uh, stats here, your skills, all the percentages. So if you notice here, these little bars here, um, when this full thing is a full circle, all white, it's basically maxed out. Until that, you're slowly working it to get there. So right here. I'm only a quarter of the way I'm brawling, so once this hits 100%, it'll go to a half. That hits 100%, goes to three quarters, and then all the way to four quarters. Same thing with these. So all of these are a quarter, basically. Handgun, I'm 50% of the way, so in 50% more XP gain, I will uh, eventually be half on my handgun. Running in them already half, it just shows you, so... Um, it gives you an idea. Engineering, it's only half, so not too bad. But uh, right here, so we got a super stream user, arson, you know, so on and so forth. Most of the time, most of this is all about the same. I'm not 100%. I've just kind of passed through this screen quite a few times, so it's uh, honestly hard for me to say. Other than the photo update, the profile update here of him, it's hard to say if any of this stuff is really any different. I know mostly everybody was arson. They haven't really customized this quite yet. So let's proceed on. Get with it. Um, for the purpose of this video and a couple of my other videos, I basically turned off my uh, video uh, captures so you guys won't see my camera um, or anything like that. But I wanted you guys to mostly focus on the game and just a little bit of gameplay. So I'm just going to give you kind of a quick quick gameplay and glimpse on this. Um, don't know necessarily how long, but we'll see. We'll see where we get. But I'm going to start a solo series on this one. So this will be the start of my brand new Nels Infinity's epic solo adventure in Scum with Danny. So... Always takes a little while for the screen to load up, but right here shows you it's uh, the .07 update. So I went ahead and put that in the title there, so you guys were aware. Uh, I just wanted you to know the DLC did drop today. Um, it wasn't on sale, but um, I'm full supporter of this game, so I wanted to make sure that they know that I support it by getting it. I've had the other DLC, anyways. I've gotten the other ones supporter packs and stuff when they all came out first too. Which I highly suggest getting those because one of them ups your chances when you shit to uh, drop items, which is awesome.
see where we want to go. <laughs> I was actually just trying to see what would happen if, uh, what would happen if you, uh, just came in too hot. I've, I've always pulled my chute ahead of time, but I was like, eh, it doesn't seem like it does too much. So I was really wanted to see what would happen if I came in too hot there. Yeah, because with the new parachuting feature there, um, I've used it, I haven't really found, so like if I was to pull it from here, oh well, it's actually not a bad spot right here, but like if I was to pull it from here, I don't really see like forward, backwards, nothing. I'm not really, other than just turning around and stuff, it doesn't seem to be doing, it doesn't do anything, so it's kind of like, well that sucks, you know. I wish that they had the, the strings on both sides to be able to steer this. So, I was just showing you guys from, uh, if you pull it right away, you don't really get a, a sense of direction. But you see that POI right there in that direction behind my head? That's actually not a bad place to get quite a bit of loot from. So, but, uh, I kind of want to get right here by this water. So, let's see if I keep holding it like this, if we can get over here. Now I'm going to be a little ways away, unfortunately. Wish there was a way of, like, pulling. Shoot off. But benefit to the snow is you can get some snowballs. And uh, it gives you just a slight a little bit of water there. Shazam! Oh, look at that, and you come with a machete right away. Secure communication with human asset established. Greetings, human asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. Go ahead My designation is Dual Energetic Entity Neural Appliance Ardina. I am an artificial intelligence created by the Tech One Corporation tasked with overseeing the Scum Show protocols including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial, please do so on your journal. Oh, that is a fat ass machete. Alright, so this right here we're going to cut into rags because you don't need your underwear, you don't need your stocks. Well, at least in this game you don't, so. In this game we're, uh, not gonna have no underwear or socks. I will be out of the snow here in a second, so I'm not too stressed about that. Go ahead and put all this, drag and drop it over here. That way we have something to bandage ourselves up with a little bit there. Uh, crafting, come over here. I'm gonna make a. Uh, Stone axe head, craft that bad boy. Alright. Go ahead and make a knife. Stone knife, so I have another one. What do I need? I need three rags, some rope, a knife. Okay. All this. Oh, I hate Alright, yeah, so this doesn't let you cut it down. I was just curious if that let me cut it down at all.
Alright, so here we go. Small wood stick. Take this. And cut that into small wood sticks. Gotta make some rope, so that's what we're working on right now. Making some rope. Alright, I think you needed five. Yep, five tree bark that. Craft that bad boy. What we're trying to do is make this courier backpack so we could go ahead and hold some more. Revised courier backpack. Yep. Used 5% of my durability. Oh, damn, this one takes a while. How many was it? Three? Cool, so I'll still have a rag left. Nice. Alright, right click that bad boy, or you can just left click. If you don't have a bag on yet, you can left click it, so. This holds the least amount, so we'll put the lighter stuff there. Alright, I'm not worried about that. Just trying to get uh, our, our skills up here, so. Uh, the most, you, the more you loot, the more you craft, the better. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot better to do that. Then you can go ahead and sometimes these have uh, like insects and stuff in them. But not any luck on there. Try to make some more rope. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need rope. I want to make some spears, and then the more XP and stuff you get, the, the your fame points will add up, so, you know, always good. Put in the small sticks, okay. Check this out, if I roll the mouse wheel, oh, he did it earlier, he just stood up and just stood there while I was still technically doing it. All that stuff's still in the vicinity, which was good. Alright, let's see. All long. Alright, go ahead and right click that one. Cut that into small sticks. You can drag this like down and stuff to see if there's like more stuff in the vicinity. Uh, so it's not too bad. Alright, so we're crafting. And we want to make some rope. And you can also make rope from, uh, you can make rope. It doesn't just have, this is tree bark rope here. You can also make improvised rope. Which uh, you can make from rag strips. So if you make rags, then you can make rag strip. And then make improvised rope for that. Okay, what do you need for the birthday hat? One of those, some rope, knife. Yeah. Hold off on that one for now. Get this rope over here. Go ahead and see what it takes to make this axe real quick. So stone axe. Stone axe. Stone head. Long stick. Tree bark rope. Okay. More uh That wooden log? Six. Oh, okay. Damn. Nice. My bad, guys. If you hold the right button, you can see, like, I'm going north. North. Once you get a compass and stuff, you can see a little bit better directional. Which is nice. You can use the mouse wheel. Um. So the mouse wheel is for running, if you guys were curious, so you can scroll the mouse wheel forward backwards to run and everything. Alright, so we can get some stuff maybe from here. Nothing. Loot on here is, uh... 
not doing any justice for me. Trying to find some other bushes around here. Kind of curious how well this machete is going to do. Hey, oh shit. Like I did not mean I was trying to pick it up. Threw up. My bad guy. I didn't mean to do that right away. Oh, see? Damn. My bad. There we go. Some of that back in there. We're near water, so I'll be able to get water, kind of replenish, rehydrate myself. Oh. Nope. Rocks. So I was looking, so when you're running around, you kind of want to find like these yellow, I think, and these uh, red mushrooms, if I remember right. There we go. Like I know it's somewhere here. Alright, so small sick, long sick, craft. Go ahead and make this axe. Uh, improvise. Stone spear is what we're going to try to work on making next. I got a knife. I think I need a long stick and rope. Stone knife, long stick, and rope. Oh no, I need two stones. Okay, two stones, long. Cool. Throw that there for now. Two stones. Alright, now it's all in the vicinity here. Grab that. All right, well, the spear. A hand. I don't need a stick right now either. Point fours, so they can both fit in here. Nice. Axe fit in here? Yeah, it can. Alright, so let's say I go to the axe. Swaps that. Let's say I go to this. Swaps that. Cool, keep swapping them around. Nice. Uncut this real quick. What we're gonna try to do is uh, see what else we can craft. See, so what an arrow, bow. Yeah, I need rope, rope, like actual rope. Yep. So once I find this for a backpack. Go ahead and uh, have a better backpack than my little courier one, so. Okay, so this one, improvised rope. That. So, I could go ahead and make a bow if I want any long stick, though. Long stick here. Long stick. Rope. Bow. Okay. Four. Go ahead and move these over here where all this stuff was. Alright, so crafting. Go ahead and make some more rope. Tab out of this and look around everything too. Alright, here we go. Got the rope. Better pick that up. Oh, you know, how big is that to begin with? Oh, yeah, see, it doesn't fit in there. 
axe fit. Alright, uh, let's see. Crafting. Want to make a bow. Draw weight. Nothing fancy. But we're going to go ahead and craft this. And then wood arrows should take, I think, just uh, the sticks for now. You can make dildo arrows. I need feathers to, to make anything better. So. Awesome. Alright, so I got my bow here. So I'll go ahead and throw this axe in here for now. Throw my bow up here. Make sure I got this here. Well, let's see. Crafting. Okay, wood and arrow. Let's see how much inventory this takes. Probably gonna have to turn this one. Yeah. So let me take my axe. Okay, so if you hold shift and the mouse wheel, you can rotate your items around. Like this, so. Not too shabby. Okay, so I can make 12 of those. So let's go ahead and try to get a couple more bushes. My food, water, all that seems to be doing alright so far. I'll make sure no puppets are showing up around me yet. Okay, so we got a long stick here. Go ahead and cut into small sticks. I was trying to get 12 of these. They're, they're really shitty arrows, but I thought maybe if I found some animal or something, maybe it might come in handy. I can try to use a little bit of my stealth aspect, possibly, to help. Alright, so let's craft up. I wish they would let you, like, bulk craft on stuff sometimes, or craft the full stack of arrows. That would be nice. Right now, we're just trying to get our fame points back up by just doing as much little crafting as we can, and then it kind of helps benefit you some too, you know? Alright, so what we got here... I can click that. Alright, I got 11 of them. Nice, that works. Good. Well, let's say I want to pull out my bow. You hold the right mouse button down if you want to look. And hold this to aim. So if you want to aim, then you right click if you want to cancel. So. Puts my 11 back in there. It would be like crouching, I want to be all stealthy and shit. Well, let's get down here and get a little bit of water in us. Hope everybody's doing alright tonight. I don't see any puppets around quite yet, so... Oh, here we go. Logs right here. Have some good stuff in them. Something. So look, as I'm eating, I just drop this. The reason I drop what I had in my hand is because if you don't have room for it to go into your inventory, you're going to drop what's on your hand. Now, if I only had just two weapons here and I didn't have anything here, it'll go to one of these slots. Um, but if I have two already here, then it's going to drop if it can't go over here. So that's something you have to pay attention to while you're playing and stuff, is make sure that you... Uh, Make sure that you know you're you're paying attention to if you're dropping stuff. And look, these little rings here are telling you where you can cast your uh, fishing rod. So if I have a fishing rod, you uh, can throw it right here because it's showing you that's where fish are. 
So you just gotta get close to the water. And then hit drink. And then look, you'll see my uh, machete. I placed it down. So I'm trying to get a little bit of water here. What you can do is you can go to your metabolism and see how uh, how full your stomach is here. You don't want to max this out. I would say don't try to go over like 80 to 90. When your intestine volume gets full. When your colon fills up, you have to poop. When your bladder fills up, you have to go pee. So I generally try to keep these at half. So if I'm halfway here or more, half or more, I try to keep them always below half. This will let you know what's processing, how much solids, and how much liquids you're gaining from those. Right now, right now I'm working off the first gulp of water, and then if you see my energy's here, my water's slowly going back up now, your muscle mass, your fat, all the vitamins, minerals, if you just come across vitamins and minerals, like the, I mean the vitamins, um, like uh, vitamin pills and stuff, it will, uh, um, taking like one will completely give you more than enough here, but, uh, minerals, you get a lot of those from like mushrooms and stuff, so that's that's something that you really want to try to eat, but not all mushrooms. So like I said, there's certain ones you want to eat. Um, but yeah, so, and then you can go to like journal. These are just, uh, if you want to do these objectives, you'll get some rewards here. It teaches you how to do some stuff here. Um, I might do those at a later time, I'm not 100% sure. If you want to create a squad, so if you want your friends to play, this is where you would do it. Uh, like when you're online and stuff, but I'm in solo events. This is where you can do different type of events. You can come up here, you can scroll through. These numbers tell you how many people are in queue to play that. So they got like cage fighting, you know, they got deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flags, you know, all kinds of stuff. So depending on what servers you're playing on, people will be playing these. Um, you can put up rewards, you know, different stuff, all kinds of stuff. This will give you idea here. Um, like I said, this metabolism this tells you all your nutritional stuff, all your stats. Uh, right here it shows you strength, shows you how much, you know, my percentage is going up. Constitution, dexterity, intelligence. So like survival, I've added 5% already to this, just doing some of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, so, you know, it helps go, you know, helps you quite a bit doing stuff. It tells you, you know, all your stuff on here. Uh, you can go to health. This is where you would like treat if it's stabilizing. You know, if you're recovering from it, it'll show you different parts of the body. So if you see different parts are highlighting, and uh, it'll let you know like where it is, what your injury is, all all stuff here. So uh, you can go down, drop it down, and look at all the different stuff here as well. So um, it, it gets pretty in depth. So see how my knife's on the ground, my uh, machete's on the ground. So just gotta make sure you. Drag it in there, right click, pick up, whatever, you know. Uh, but look, my water's back to 100, so doing pretty good there. Not too shabby. Um, if you're too heavy and you decide to go swimming, there is a chance that you could uh, drown from having too much on you or weighing too much. And then your clothes are all wet and shit, so... Uh, you don't always, you don't, you don't really always, you know, want to do that and stuff now because you can get like swamp foot and all sorts of stuff, so. But, yeah. Um, you can also sort of to take a poop and stuff. Here, let's, uh, let me get out of this spot real quick. So we're not here in this, uh, waterfall going the whole time. Get up there. Alright, up, see? My feet are soaking wet just because I just skimmed that water there. So, now that we're over here. The old tab, you, if you get, like, the DLC and stuff, uh, supporter packs, you can do different things. Now, you can do some of this stuff anyways, but... You would always hold tab, you go to the bathroom, you left click it, you would take a piss when you need to piss, poop when you need to poop, or vomit I guess if you chose to. Uh, if you want to do dance moves with that DLC you can do it. Uh, like I can do, let's see, this one's funny, the puppet dance. You click it. 
you know, just do different dance moves and shit, so it's pretty funny. Then, you know, you can hold tab, uh, like when, well, not when. So once I'm done dancing. Dances are, are pretty funny, actually, so there's quite a bit of them. Then you just walk, you know, you just walk to stop it, so. Um, they have, like, the moonwalk. You can do, like, moonwalks and shit, which is pretty funny. So then, like I said, walk to stop it or whatever. Um, but you can come here and, like, go to your music player and play music. Dances, you can do different taunts. So you can do all these different type of, you know, different, you know, different things here. You know, like I could, I could take and, oh, hold on. I give somebody the finger, you know, if I wanted to. Um, you can do different actions, so if you want to do photo mode, you want to check the time, uh, whistle, you want to sit down, lay down, get your stamina back, you know, this kind of stuff, you can get some stamina back pretty quick. Uh, you can do commands, like different things, like, hey, let's move out, you know, freeze, whatever, get down, get up, halt, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, or you could say different things, you know, so it just depends. So, you know, just different stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a bit to do it here, actually. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So. But let's get to some looting. I'm going to try to loot this little place here. Now, some of these buildings, you could go ahead and put locks on them. Um, you can lock them. Yeah, you can lock them and kind of claim them as your own little place. Um, it's not a whole lot you can do, but you can you can lock them up and at least like uh, board up the windows and kind of protect yourself. So, see, there's a puppet right there. So go and search him. Uh, you can use the really crappy rags from him to make a backpack, and it, it wouldn't hurt you or nothing, so, uh, you know. But, yeah, like, if you want to get more XP and stuff, you could literally sit there and just cut in the rags. Cut in the rags. So, like, let's say I go ahead and uh, equip this one. Take in the hands, and I just go ahead and cut this. So, like, my fame points are at 1 right now. So, let's see how, how much it does. I haven't really sat here and figured how much you're like actually getting from stuff here but uh they cut in rags so look i cut two things and i got a fame point so um and i'm just using something that i made out of rocks so it's pretty easy to get this all over again if i needed to Like I said, you don't want to use any of these dirty rags because these uh, technically could like affect you about how you know you look at it. So, all right. So look, I'm gonna take this in hands, and you'll see this knife here. We'll go back here because I have a spot for it. So you know, shows you there. Close that door. If you want to search these, you can always you usually always get firewood from them really nice so like this is a clean rack strip doesn't say dirty it's clean so let's throw it down there uh, here's some money can stack there here's a beanie let me go ahead and equip that now I got a beanie on you know it gives me something you could lay here and rest if you wanted ah look at that I got the freaking all bloody machete and shit there okay for that one boom um, and something else too is like if you don't like playing in third person you can just hit enter and you can play this whole thing in first person if you want so like if you would rather do this going into buildings you know to like check shit out and stuff or you just want to play all together can I mean you know they give you that option so you just hit enter at any time uh, when you're in a vehicle you could hit enter and see it from first person view 
tells me I need to urinate, so let's go ahead, hold here, toilet, piss. And you'll see I have it on concealed mode, so it blurs everything for you. Why is his piss coming out the side? <laughs> He's going to have to fix that. I don't know if Danny's going to like pissing out the side there. You can even sit here and rest, you know, too, if you freaking felt like it. Find some bugs. Bad boy, like I said, you drop your thing, you know, you're going to drop your blade or whatever you have on hand, so you just got to remember to pick it up until you get a bigger backpack, so. Yep, it's Danny. Pretty sweet that they added somebody like him in here. I feel like if anybody was a badass, it's definitely him, and he could play uh, kind of this hardcore, you know, uh, ex-convict type of role in a game. And this is where you can get feathers, like, the most, is, is from these hay bales. So if you're going to find them, that's, it's a pretty good take that that's where you're going to end up finding some when you, when you do. So if I climb this ladder, I'm going to drop it. So, because I don't have any hands open to, to come up here. So, like I said, if I had somewhere to put it, then, you know, it'd be great, great and all, but, um, yeah. So from my understanding, for awareness, if you're looting something, and uh, let's say this item was in this chest right now, you would grab it and then just drop it on the ground. Um, that will help with your awareness there, so. Um, so yeah, so you just want to make sure that you uh, pretty much just drop everything when you're looting stuff, so. Let's go ahead and hit M for map. Shows me I'm right here. Got a supply drop and it's literally directly south of me, so. Um, but the thing is, unfortunately, I have no lockpicks or nothing to be able to uh, help myself out here, so. Let's see, so I want to go to the east, I think. I think I want to go to the east, try to hit this other small place. So, north, got east somewhere in this direction. And actually, if I just follow the river down, I want to be running like crazy. I want to keep some stamina here. I may end up needing it. Go down here and just get another little sip of water while we're running down this river. Weird is I did not adjust settings for puppets or anything. So it's kind of crazy to think that we haven't really uh, come across hardly any. So you can eat all this stuff here, the larva and things, that's pretty good for you, so. Um, so like if you hold control over something, it'll give you a little, you know, uh, little detail on some stuff. So if you hold control over it, it'll tell you um, if you're eating food and stuff and you do the same thing, it gives you kind of like a whole nutritional chart of what you're eating. And cut down a tree to get logs. I like this little area. It wouldn't be too bad of an area to go ahead and. Uh... Oh, that's kind of weird. A little, uh, little, little bug there. But um, yeah. I mean, this area's got like water and everything. I mean, it's got you know some stuff around here. I'm not really one to like to be like in super populated areas. I like looting populated areas, but I like to kind of build like right here. This would just be like beautiful. Just have this like nice view here, have my little place and everything. And then uh, yeah, just have my place here. And then when I get a vehicle and stuff, just straight up, you know, come up here and I know there was a road or something. Oh no, I'm out in the open now. But yeah, so maybe something kind of down this river, but uh, along the road. Like, near the road, down a little ways. Be kind of nice. I still got my machete in my hand. I kind of hope I find some type of sharpening stone or something so that I don't 
destroy this all the way. Oh yeah, and another thing too is, look, you can search the banks here and uh, can find worms as well. So if you are running down the bank here and you really need some type of food, you can run down every so often and you can search the a little ways. You gotta kinda go down a little ways, but you can search and you'll find worms and stuff, so that's actually kinda neat. So you gotta drop it on the ground there again. Go ahead and get a little water, look at my metabolism. Got this water going, so good that I got a little bit of water's there, so. Go ahead and get a couple gulps of water here. Not too full. Back up, boom. Nice if I found something to, uh, hunt. I actually enjoy a lot of the, uh, hunting aspects of the game, but it is, it is a little bit harder though, but you can track them, you know, track their blood and kind of the direction they've gone, sort of. Um, it can be a little tricky, so it takes a little getting used to, for sure. Uh, you know, I should have freaking searched that hunter, the little hunter tower back there, because that thing actually, uh, could have had a rifle in it. So that would have been freaking cool. So something like, not here, but you know, something like this where I'm near a road off the river here, like that would be really nice to have something like that. So those little fields there usually have some stuff. Uh, when you're running around these, sometimes you'll find like potatoes, uh, stuff like that. So it's actually kind of nice. And you could jump right into the windows. Look, guys, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do first person. A little better. I equip those bad boys because you can actually wear those shorts under pants and they give you a little extra storage. Oh, look, a clean rag. Oh, yeah, because you need them all the time. Every time you get hit, you need them. So, an onion, look, control gives you a little, uh, I uh, like a little bit about the onion and, and different stuff on there. Uh, the, uh, they might have actually changed the fact that it used to give you a nutritional chart. I think they actually changed that now. Unless it's not everything. We'll have to find out. Take that back in my hand. Bad boy. Please give me some shit. Probably something in here. Be freaking great if I found a freaking backpack. That'd be awesome. So this is where you can find like scrap metals and, and things. So like, see how I just looted that? You just drop it out, or like, you know, it didn't really matter where it was. I could just do this and drop it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Open these doors. So I know I've already been here. Come outside. I like the third person view, in my opinion, but everybody's different. So there might be eggs, maybe. Oh wait, what is this? Oh no, they're the. You'll see like chicken coops. Those uh, those have a chance of having some eggs in them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. When you come into places like this, I was just gonna tell you. Um, always make sure you look up because if it has a uh, if it has like a little loft thing, kind of like a little platform like storage up there, sometimes there's zombies on there, so be careful. But look, I'll show you right here. My uh, metabolism, see my bladder's full because I drink a whole bunch of water. So you want to try to get you know go before it hits a hundred because then you start you know suffering like abdominal pain and shit.
a uh, viper if you're still here in the chat i was gonna say uh i swear your your name looks so familiar i swear i've uh, seen you either in here before maybe not chatting uh something maybe you've caught some of the streams before Do a little sweep of the place real quick. Zombies, right? Well, they're puppets, but they're zombies, so. Houses usually are the places you're gonna find like backpacks and shit. It's the first time I've seen a picture behind a desk there. I mean, uh, behind a, yeah, a table or whatever. These are where you usually find some stuff. Like I found a lot of backpacks in the in the washers or dryer or whatever that thing's gonna be. Oh shit! Look. Yeah. I was so used to. I was all in the mode of looting. I just went and sat. So the soap bar supposedly you can have, I've actually never done it myself, but you could take the soap with water and like wash dirty rags to turn them into good rags. So, but yeah, see so you just do this and then it just throws it down on the ground. But not uh, a lot of loot in it, so. And that would have been freaking nice to have found something here. I can go down the stairs. Do that so I know I've been there. Look. Come on, baby. Something good. Love. Oh, well. Yeah, my boots are 97. About the same, so. All good, see? Just throws them down on the ground when you do that. Bad boy. Do 78 on that beanie, 70 on that one. Go ahead and equip it. And why don't we take and cut this up? Because I will need it. And you cut into that little nightstand. Cool. Yeah, I got a little bit there. Search. Nothing there. Nothing there. These usually have wine in them. A lot of times, wine or some type of alcohol bottles. Can I do that? No. All right. And there was there. Cool. Oh, so it looks like this place is pretty much done. Oh, you know, this might be a chicken coop. Yeah, I think so. You can get bird feathers and shit from too. So a good rule of thumb is to stack the lower percent into the higher percent. And then they all become that percentage, so. Sure nothing else in there. See what we can find here. Ah, my machete's all chilling up there. Taking hands. Oh, I have some grape thing. I like being near places like this because you know when the Loot respawns over time, or you know whatnot. Yeah, uh, really great place to go ahead and get some stuff here. So, like, if you're here and you hold Control, tells you a little bit about it. You know, like what you can do, what it's used for, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty. Nice. Um, so nighttime in a stream is probably going to be really hard. Um, I don't really have a way of lightening it up necessarily. 
But I, I'll just tell you, it's dark as shit, so... Um, I'll do my best if I end up streaming at night or into the night, or what I could do is um, just go ahead and just kind of wait through the night and and then start the stream back up with, uh, like, daytime again. So, yeah. But give me one second. Oh yeah, had to take a leak. Not me, but you know, my character. Right, let's go with this. And right. a couple more of these. Make sure to top ourselves off a little bit with these tapes. Um I would like to have carried a couple more, but um okay, so look if you look here, they don't really fill you up a ton, so I can eat quite a bit of them and not bad, you know. So they're 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 a great source getting stuff. So when you used to be able to see the nutrition chart them, they actually give you some sugar um, and stuff like that. So it's actually good to eat these. They give you sugar, water. Um, I think they give you a little bit of the vitamins and minerals and stuff. I'm not going to search this whole field. I'm just figuring I was just going to search these parts. and I'll know that like the rest over here probably still have some in them. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look over here, because it's kind of nice to, uh, I got water here, a little bit of food here. Kind of nice to, uh, build off the river here. This usually has rose hips in them, like rose hip little petals. Um, and you're able to eat them, so, to my knowledge, they're, they're still good to eat. I don't think they really give you a whole lot, but I love the fact that I could fish off here. That actually would be really nice. I got a little bridge to drive over. Not too bad. I'm near that one POI. A couple of the POIs in the snow there. Uh, these are some pretty good open fields I can see around me, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see if anything's popping up in here. I would have loved to have had one of these fields be like corn. But uh, let's take a look and see if we find any type of uh, vegetable or something. It doesn't look like anything's popping up here. In the... It would have been nice if that was a field that had some uh, had some stuff in there. Oh, we got a field over there though that might actually have some. Take a look. Before I throw some roots down here, I just kind of want to make sure that I have a, have a couple things of interest. See, I like the fact when I see a lot of those crops and fields, because it just tells me I can probably go up and down the road here every so often and keep getting uh, getting some food at least for you know a little bit here and there. Out here, search this. A nice if I had some more feathers. These right here tell me that I can get feathers here every once in a while. Oh, let's... Okay, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if I can stack them in quite yet. Check this pile here, and then down the road there. Uh, looks like I, I thought I just... So it turns out to be corn. Yep. Yep, that's a cornfield down there. 
See that one right there, right where my little cursor is? Cornfield, so. Uh, you know what? I might like coming down here on the road. Because I can always build a well. Let's see. Scroll down here. So, right here I can build the better chest, not the good, good one, but I can build the next best one. Um, I can build everything except the large cabin. So if you put it to medium, like I did, you will basically be able to build just about everything. Uh, you just want to be able to build the two-story cabin, or the metal uh, chests, uh, a couple advanced like locks, uh, some of the more advanced cooking, advanced lock protection type stuff. So yeah, that's about it. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. So um, right here we got the well, need a toolbox, planks, some wood, and if you need to know how to make a toolbox, you can click toolbox. Rise. Yeah. So you need some metal scrap. You can scroll through here and it shows you can use any kind of metal scrap. Planks, nails, bolts, you like a crowbar, uh, hammer, spades like a shovel, metal pipe, on wood club. So yeah, as long as you just have some form of a tool weapon type thing. Yeah, yeah you can choose any type of tool, but yeah, so you can make a uh, toolbox, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to confirm that this is corn, all corn. Damn, look at that. Oh, that actually could be sunflowers. Might be corn and sunflower. Ooh, I like that. There's a little house up there. Definitely corn. I think those are sunflowers. Over there. It's all corn? Ooh, that'd be nice. I mean, these definitely look like corn. Get anything to spawn in here real quick. Not everything is lootable. Me, so many of them. Got to kind of run through. Maybe give me some. I won't lie though, this game can definitely be hard to get some resources. Once you start getting them though, it's, it's too, too bad. Well, let's go ahead and eat some quick. Corn does fill you up quite a bit pretty quick, so you can see the bar here, so I always go eat. I go to metabolism really quick. I watch it. If this starts getting too full, you can go ahead and cancel it. Um, that way you don't fill up too much and overeat and get sick and, and that. See, this should be too. This actually would be pretty nice. I don't know, is this Oh, this is okay. So, if anything, what I might do is maybe through the night just work on, uh, like I said, if I don't end up streaming this through the night, because I'll probably end it here soon, just giving you guys, uh, kind of just a quick start to it showing you guys a little bit but um I made it plain through the uh just a little tutorial mission part real quick building a uh, building some stuff that I need to build it'll throw down uh I'll end up basically making another axe another knife uh, I'll be throwing down a little lean to shelter basically so I have a spawn point like a you know pretty much like a bed of sorts so if I die, I could spawn at that spot. But you see, it's a, uh, it's not, it's not a easy uh, finding shit here. So, like I said, gotta. Yeah, you just, it's definitely a very survival aspect for. Yeah. Oh, this isn't really isn't a bad spot right here because, like I said, I would have two farms there. I have some stuff to get there. I'm not too far from the water. 
Um, so yeah, not too bad. So how's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully you guys are all good. Or night, morning, not sure what part of the world you're in, but so you guys are doing all right. Hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing Danny here uh, as much as I am. Check this one. Check these bales real quick for some uh, feathers. I'd like to really just kind of scrap those ones that I have and uh, focus on making ones with feathers and that are actual like stone stone tips there. So I can go ahead and get stone and make a whole bunch of like little stone arrowheads. I can only stack these in tens too if, if I'm correct, if I remember right. Place it. Ross, so far I've been uh, pretty well, but you know, knock on wood real quick. Okay, I think I know this spot here. Probably up it's up here. A lot of times there's a car in this area. Sure, how well the, the loot of the vehicle or the spawning of the vehicles are going to be, but see. Oh, I'll go ahead and drop this knife because I'm trying to collect. Gonna collect freaking feathers here. I already have a knife. I already have another new one, so that works. Good quite yet. Fire anything. Alright, so like I'll drop my knife there, I mean my machete there, so pick it back up, you know. Now let's start with this little house. The shops usually have some pretty nice stuff in them. Up it in there. Tell about this first room. Dive right in. Okay, good. Oh, please tell me a backpack. That'd be freaking great. Oh my god. <laughs> Do that freaking every time. Alright, just so guess. can I could end up taking a place like this and just kind of, you know, using it for, like, my little place for starters. Kind of like this little spot. So close to everything, I don't have to spend all the time building something quite yet. Not that I'm not going to, I don't have to quite yet. So. Backpack. That's what I would love to get is a backpack. Why would I rest on that bed? Rest on a couch. The durability of those, 74, 95, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this open here. That way I can take and, uh, same thing on these ones. Around while you're searching. All right, so nothing good there. Let's go ahead and uh, take this one into my. Hand. I don't want to use up durability on there, but I want to get some aim points and shit for this. Oh, I should start collecting these nails. Good 
all these dirty rags. You don't have to have that open if you want to keep an eye around you and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So take the take in hand. It'll go right back there because I've already used. It. So here you can hold F. Uh, I mean, when you're next to this, my bad. When you're next to this, you're crafting certain things on locks so, and craft bullets. See how these are red now? Red. I can't make this stuff for my gun. But now I'm closer. It's letting me know that I'm. I have the bench. Right here it tells you you need some type of lathe machine or improved workbench, drill press, another drill press. You've got to be near one. So if I move away, I'm not near one, so I can't make those. I can't make these bullets, can't make these rails and scopes. Then I'm closer, so now I can. I'm just missing resources. So once you have all of this stuff, it'll be unlocked like this. But if you need stuff for it it's usually this and then if you're missing something like uh like you, you you know it'll just let you know so if you have some of the stuff it'll basically let you know so that's kind of like with the red yellow that type of thing have some of it don't have some of it you know so on and so, so onion not gonna eat that one just that is a very bad onion good chance of Nails are stackable. I'd always stack the lower end one into the higher end. Uh, this knife's not bad, but I'll put on the bad boy. Probably gotta take a piss. So check again. Bladder's about full. Piss real quick. See if it goes crooked again. Oh yeah, see? Why is his junk going crooked here? Not cool. Guys, devs, please fix it. I don't think Danny would be very happy to see this junk shooting off to the side there. I'm so used to searching these barrels in like seven days to die when I play. Because <laughs> you always get fuel from them. up because I've already been I'm trying to help remind myself where I've been if all of a sudden I see a whole bunch of doors open I'm like yep I've been there I like to see around me in case something's up on me man this would have been a really good place for a vehicle to spawn so unfortunately yeah but look at this though we got a stack of wood logs here which is been great so for starters, I could easily. Oh, I literally made my way to that freaking drop, but I don't have anything to pick shit. Crafting or let's see where we walk picks in a little bit. All right, uh, lock pick. Oh, don't make fun of me if I freaking sit here and miss it. Okay, so it's definitely not down here. It'll be up here. Uh, up here. Right there. So lockpick. Oh yeah, bobby pins. Bobby pins, yeah. Haven't found any of those. Haven't found a box of them or nothing yet. So like, if you're in here and you were going to go ahead and use this, you could take and go to crafting here, and if you wanted to fortify it, you could go to basic fortification, medium fortification, or advanced fortification. So let's just say I went basic. If you were to craft, you can place it over the window. And then, uh, you know, you could put it on the windows, on the windows, window, window. So if you were to board those three up there, and then nothing in the bathroom, good. Uh, otherwise, I'd be perverted. Fine. <laughs> So you put these three here, put one there, and one there, and that basically would make it yours, right? You can uh, take come back here, and then what you would do is you would go ahead and you would either craft an iron lock, 
leftover lock or an enforced lock and you would walk up to the door and you would hold uh not hold open you would hit tab my bad so right here tab you can put up to three locks on this door of any type doesn't matter the better the better you know lock is going to be better and harder for somebody to pick if like they were in the game right so for me single player i don't really need locks but if you know i was on multiplayer on somebody's server you would want locks and then lock protection so you would make some type of like lock protection medium uh, you can make this lock protection basic, advanced, um, you know, just different stuff like that. You place it here in this little electric bolt slot. Um, and then when you make gates, doors, so when you come down here and you make these, uh, these like, door frames and add doors uh, or airplane, airplane door frame. And then you take and you use this wooden wall to make a fence. Um, on these doors and stuff, you could do the same thing. You place locks. Do that. If you go ahead and make your cabin, so if you were to make the regular small cabin, medium one or the large one, you do the same thing on your doors. Uh, the large one has a door on the inside. The medium one has a door on the inside as well. So you can do an interior door as well. Um, on top of that, so in order to build those, though, if you guys do shoot to go, hey, I want to go ahead and build, like, you know, this wooden cabin here, the smaller one, um, you do have to build foundations to place those on. So I think it takes anywhere from four to six to do this uh, smaller one. And then to do the larger one, I think you probably want to do somewhere between, like, six and eight, maybe. Um... And then obviously the large one's going to be the exact same thing as the medium. It's just going to have a second story. That's the only difference. Um, but the second story is just one open layout, just an entire open floor with just stairs off to the right side. Uh, so that's actually pretty nice, though. Like if you want to have a full top is all storage or just kind of have living quarters up there. And then downstairs is like, like you know, some type of storage, and then your really personal stuff you don't want people to get, you just, like, put inside the locked room. Um, something along those lines. Or maybe have your spawn point in there in case somebody kills you outside, you're inside, it takes them a while to get in, you have a chance to get your shit. Uh, you know, something like that. But, uh, yeah, so, not too bad. So that gives you guys an idea of how to, how to do that. So you just fortify these on any building, any building. So you can pick these, like, uh, they have these little kind of like hay bale shed type things it has a one door and one window in town you'll see them they're like usually near a lot of the garages and and farms and stuff you can literally go into one of those and board up the one window put lock someone and you already have a place on the map um you also could go into the garages and do the same thing put locks on the garages and you can lock your vehicle in there and have your chests and stuff with your loot in the vehicles, lock your vehicle as well. You drag a lock over the vehicle, so you just hit tab. And then in the vicinity, you would, like this would be the vehicle icon with a vehicle here. You just basically take a lock out of your thing and just hover over it and you can lock it. And then just make sure you adjust your settings, because if you have a squad, you want to make sure that if you want your squad to access it, they can. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. So let's eat this real quick, and then I'm gonna see what uh see what I need to make those arrows real fast. I think I need rocks. Some rocks to make it. All right, so wooden arrow, stone tip. Okay, so I need stone tip arrows. All right, right here. That's metal. Go. Right here. Stone arrow tips. Crowbar, hammer. Crowbar, hammer, something. Shovel. Okay, and I need small stone. Okay, bro, I need stone, large stone, okay, so I need stone, long stick, rope, improvised rope, tree bark, wire, thread, any of these things would work, so, 
don't have any more, but that's fine. I can make it out of my rags if I wanted to, but um, I'll kind of wait. I'll... Uh, man, I really want that freaking supply drop over there. I literally do not have anything to pick it with. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, well, since it is starting to... The sun is starting to go down and it'll be getting darker here soon. I am going to go ahead and end the stream here. I thank you for watching. And hopefully you guys will be back on to see the progress. Um, here on my Nell's epic solo adventure playing as Danny. So... Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys liked that, checked it out, thought it was pretty neat, um, hopefully I kind of formed you guys a little bit for anybody that might be new to the game or hasn't tried it yet, um, maybe I piqued your interest, you guys want to pick it up, uh, definitely watch, check it out, watch out, you know, for it, and see when it goes on sale, I got mine on Steam, but I mean, there's a lot of other places to pick it up at, you could even try Humble Bundle, um, I'm not sponsored by any of these, and I'm not advertising for any of them, I'm just letting you know where you guys can get this game. So, uh, make sure you check those places out. Pick it up while it's on sale. That'd probably be your best bet. Um, as for the DLC, I would just suggest trying to get it when it goes on sale as well. Um, this one just came out for Danny, so obviously, you know, that one costs 15 bucks US dollars. So, if you uh, want to spend it, spend it. If not, wait. I'm sure it'll go on sale at some point. But uh, you never know, you know. Being celebrity DLC here. Hard to say if it will ever go on sale for a while. Might be a very low discount. But uh, like I said, Nell's Infinity here, where life never ends. I uh, appreciate you guys for being here. That was Scum with Danny. So I will see you guys on the next one.